All right. Hey, today I want to talk to you about a new tool that I've been playing with called Chat Playground. It's a way to get access to multiple large language models at once. It's a real time saver. It's a very interesting tool. It's got some pretty interesting use cases as well. So here is Chat Playground in AppSumo. The license tier one for the lifetime deal starts at $59. And what it's going to do, as you can see here in the image, it's going to give you access to a lot of different language models, all from one interface, which is going to make your life a lot easier when you're writing prompts and doing research, etc. So let's just get down to the pricing. And then I want to show you how the tool works. Down at the bottom here, there's three license tiers. A license tier one at $59 gets you 300 queries per month. License tier two gets you 600 queries per month. And license tier three gets you 1,250 queries a month. So what you need to think about is just how often you use tools like ChatGPT and Claude and other large language models. If you're like me, I use it for research. I use it for idea generation, things like that. I'm not like a real power user of tools like ChatGPT and Claude and, and other language models. For me, License Tier 1 or License Tier 2 would work out just fine. But if you're using these tools all the time, you probably want to look at License Tier 3. Let's just get right to the tool. So to use this tool, you're going to need to download and install their Chrome browser extension, which I already have. And when you access that extension, this is the first page that you're going to see. It's a place where you can do some prompting and have multiple language models return information for you all at once. So for example, if you wanted to have Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and Perplexity and you wanted to have Bing Copilot and let's say you wanted Gemini 1.5 Pro. So you could write a prompt right here and then when that prompt is executed, all four of these language models will go out and return information for you. So let's try this. I wrote, what are five things a person buying a new home needs to consider? So again, every language model is trained differently. So the results that you get will be different. And that's the value of this is you're not bouncing around from one tool to another. And you don't necessarily have to have multiple subscriptions to tools too. So let's do this, try this out. Then you can go through, look at these answers and get the information that you need. So I think the interesting thing is like if you look at the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, you know, each language model has strengths and weaknesses. So this is a pretty basic return of information. Now, if you look at perplexity, you get a lot more information, much more useful. And then there's the Gemini 3.5 Pro and the Bing Copilot information. So that's just a way to access multiple language models at once and write these prompts. One thing I want to mention is when you do prompting like this, this is really four prompts. So remember, each license tier has a certain number of prompts that you get. So license tier one, you get 300 prompts per month. This would be four prompts against that 300 uh, prompt limit that you have for a month. So you just don't want to go crazy here if you uh, realize that one of these language models is going to give you better information. You may want to remember that and think about that for the future for general questions like this. So you just don't go through your prompts too quickly. It has this document creation tool. So for instance, if you did want to create a document, how to buy your first house, create a document. So when you go in here, you can start doing some writing. If you get stuck, you can ask AI to help you out. So if you were going to write just an article from scratch and you wanted to have AI help you along the way, you could do that and then use that information to create a document. Now it does have some templates as well. Uh, so for example, here's a full list of all the templates. It's got blog idea and outline, and then all of these. I have not tried all of these out, and I don't know how well they work, but they're here for you to use if you wanted to use a template to get going. Now, the nice thing about this is if you're writing a blog post and if you're a person who 
prefers to write your blog posts from scratch, you don't use a long form blog tool of any kind, this could be useful for you. I have other tools that I use for writing, so it's just not high on my list of needs, but it is there in this tool and it does give you the capability to obviously chat with a language model and get information as you write. The next tool, which I think is really interesting, is this learning companion tool. Now, you can upload a PDF, for example, and turn it into flashcards if you're trying to study about a specific topic, for instance. You can chat with a PDF file if you want to. The one use case that I think is really interesting, and this is the one I'm going to demo out of all four here, is I'm going to do this chat with YouTube. Let's say you're a YouTuber and you want to do a video on a specific topic and you're interested to see what is your competition talking about when they've written about a specific topic. So in this case, I went and I looked for some YouTube videos, SEO for beginning bloggers. And so let's take this one right here and I'm gonna grab the URL. I'm gonna go back over to Chat Playground. I'm gonna enter that video. So here's the video. I can go in, I can ask questions about it. I can do something like this. Tell me the 10 main concepts shared in this video. Then it's gonna go through. It's going to analyze that video and it's going to tell me what those 10 things are. The reason this is so interesting to me is if you're somebody that's a content creator, you could go through and use this specifically to determine what you should have in your video. Because if you see a YouTube video that has a lot of views, you know that people like it. This gives you a way to understand uh, what it is this person talked about and then uh, incorporate that information into your video too. So you just remember to talk about those things as well. So that's one way to use that tool. To me, the, the most important use case in here to me is this chat with YouTube. That, that's just a piece of functionality that I think is really uh, a cool thing to have. So the next tool that they have is something called Web Copilot. And what this is going to allow you to do is add prompts, customized prompts. Notice it says review selection, summarize key takeaways. These are all going to be used when you're surfing the web and looking at data on the web. So you could add your own prompts to this master list of prompts. If you want to, you can actually delete these if you want to. If you delete anything, you can always restore them. Now this is going to make sense when we look at this next page here. Let's say you're surfing the web and you're looking at how to find a good real estate agent and you're looking at this buyer's guide. Here's where that web copilot comes into play. Here's where those prompts that we just looked at comes into play. So you click the copilot icon down here in the bottom right corner and now Chat Playground gives you this copilot that you can use to extract information out of the article that you're looking at. So if you recall those prompts, well here they are. Summarize, key takeaways, questions, etc. So these are all the various prompts that were available uh, in Web Copilot and you can also add your own prompts if you want to. But let's say we decide we want to use the summarize prompt. It's going to read the following text and summarize it in less than half the original length. So if this is a very long article, it's an eight minute read, so it probably is pretty long. You can summarize it very easily with this Copilot tool. You can call it up anytime you're surfing the web and use the strength of Chat Playground to prompt it. And you can also use various language models as well. So if there's a specific language model that you prefer to use, you can try that. I'm just gonna leave it on GPT-40. Let's go ahead and execute it. And it's taken this whole article and then summarized it. And then you can look at the summary and make a determination, hey, do I wanna go in and spend my time reading this full article? So that's how that particular Web Copilot tool works. And then again, of course, over here is where you can put in 
your own custom prompts if you want to. So if you do some kind of specific research all the time where you're asking the same types of questions about articles that you're finding on the web, then you write your own custom prompts, you save them here, and that's going to uh, be available to you when you go into an article and you check Web Copilot and you click on this button and your prompts would be in here to use. And then, of course, like I mentioned, you can use any language model that you want to use that's available from Chat Playground. Let's go back over to the tool. The next thing that you can do is image generation. I've not tried this yet, so let's go ahead. Let's give it a try. Let me do this. This isn't the greatest prompt in the world, but a photorealistic image of a skateboarder at a skate park. Make the image colorful. Let's generate it. They do have preset styles here, too if you want to try some of those preset styles. So let's just generate the image and see what we get. So you do have to use one of the preset styles. So let's do bokeh. Let's see what we get. So that's the image that it generated. It's not too bad. The skateboard is a little bit weird. If you need AI image generation, you know, it's got some AI image generation for you. That would not be the primary purpose, you know, for my use of the tool and probably not the primary purpose that you'd buy this tool for is just the AI images. But in this case, it does give you the capability. The last thing they have here is what they call mixture.ai. Basically what it's going to do is take the output from chat GPT 4.0, Gemini 1.5 Pro, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and Llama 3.1 and mix everything together in one complete answer. Because ChatGPT 4.0, Gemini, Claude, and Llama are all trained on different language models, it's nice to be able to have this tool take all of the important information that each language model brings back in a prompt and then mix it together so you have one complete answer. So let's try this out. So in this case, my prompt is how hard is it to learn to play golf? It's returning the information for each language model. And then over in the right-hand pane. It's taken all of this information, packaged it together, and then made this nice document that you can go through and read. So, you know, the prompt, you know, asking it how hard it is to play golf probably isn't a great prompt, but if you were doing research on a specific topic, this could be really uh, a nice time-saving tool to allow you to get right to the core of the information that you need that you would be able to extract from all four language models. So then the other things that you can do if you want to just chat with uh, ChatGPT 4.0 or Gemini 1.5 Pro or Anthropic Cloud 3.5 Sonnet or Perplexity or Llama or Mistral Large or Bing Copilot, you can do that. So if you just want to talk with one specific language model, you're able to do that. That's all of the tools that are in Chat Playground. I've been using it. I think it's been working quite well. I think it's a good deal because for me, I think that capability of being able to extract data from YouTube videos for the kind of work I do is gonna help me out immensely. And I also like the idea of being able to mix together a variety of language models and get some answers and then pick a variety of language models and get answers from them side by side as I do research on different things. That's Chat Playground. I hope you found this video useful. And until next time, take care.